Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain electric potential with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, first I'll cover work done to move charge. After that, I'll explain potential difference. After that, I'll explain potential difference due to charge capital Q. After that, I'll explain potential at a given point due to charge capital Q. And at last, I'll discuss about key points regarding potential. So let us begin this session with first agenda. That is work done to move charge. Right. Now here, what I'll do is I'll consider uniform electric field. So you can observe here we have uniform electric field. Uniform electric field means in this region, magnitude of electric field is constant. So in this entire region, magnitude of electric field is constant means this is uniform electric field. Now here we have one charge plus Q. And because of electric field, what happens is this plus Q charge that is moving. So initially this plus Q charge that was over here. And at last because of electric field, there is a displacement on this charge and it is moving over here. Right. If I say here we have origin and initial position is RA and final position is RB, then what is work done? So work done that is force dot displacement. Again work done is force dot displacement. So what is force on charge Q? Force on charge Q that is Q into E. Right. And here displacement let us consider dl displacement small differential displacement so for small differential displacement work done is dw that is force dot dl right where force is q into e so what is total work done now total work done that is integration where in integration initial position that is ra and final position that is RB. So limits are there from RA to RB. And remember, this is what work done. To have a moment of charge from RA to RB. And this work done is done by electric field. Right. This work done is done by electric field. Now, I'll explain you calculation of potential difference. So work done, that is force dot displacement force is QE dot displacement DL where integration is having range from position RA to RB. Here work done is done by electric field E. Right. Now what is potential difference? See potential difference is work done per unit charge. Potential difference is work done per unit charge. So work done by charge that is E integration E dot DL. But here there is a negative sign. Now you might be having question why there is a negative sign. See negative sign is there because of work done that is done by external force. Previously we have calculated work done by electric field because of which this charge was moving right. But as and when you calculate potential difference then potential difference that we calculate for external force not by the given electric field. Right. That's why we place negative sign over here. If you identify work done by electric field, that is positive. If you identify work done on charge by external force, that is negative. Right. So that is how polarity is there. So potential difference is minus integration EDL. Right. Why the reason is W by Q, that is potential difference. Work done per unit charge, that is potential difference. Right. Now this is the basic definition, but you need to understand how to identify calculation. So here what I'll do is I'll consider potential difference due to charge Q. So you can observe here at origin we are placing charge Q. So because of charge Q, what happens? Because of positive charge Q at origin, electric field that is happening like this. Right, electric field that is happening like this. You can observe previously we were been having uniform electric field, but now we have electric field which is happening like this right and that is because of point charge 
So because of point charge, we need to identify potential difference. Means potential difference with respect to position A and B. Right. So as per the basic definition of potential difference, it is work done per unit charge. It is negative of integration of EDL where range is there from RA to RB. That is what the basic definition which I have explained. Where this electric field that is happening because of positive charge Q. So one should know what is electric field due to point charge. Electric field due to point charge that is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by R square in the direction of vector R. If you place this electric field equation in this equation, then VAB that is W by Q minus integration is having range from RA to RB. Electric field that is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by R square dr, right. And here, see Q by 1 by 4 by epsilon 0, that is constant. Take it outside. Just do integration of 1 by R square. 1 by R square integration is minus 1 by R. If you place the limit, where limit is ranging from RA to RB, then VAB, that is potential difference due to charge Q, that is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by RB minus 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by RA. So VAB, that is VB minus VA. So based on this equation, you can say what is VB? VB is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by RB. And what is VA? 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by RA. In short, VAB is VB minus VA, that is this, right? But what I'll do is I'll explain you calculation of VA or VB means potential due to charge at given location. This is about potential difference calculation, right? Now I'll explain you calculation of potential. So here you can observe we have location RA. So at location RA, we will identify potential and potential difference definition that I have already explained. Now I'll explain you calculation of potential at given location. So first of all, you need to understand the definition, right? See definition is if we bring the charge from infinity to given position. So this charge that we bring from infinity to given position. So initial position that was infinity and final position that is RA, right? Then work done per unit charge is potential at given position. So if you bring charge from infinity to given position, then work done per charge that is potential at given position. That is the basic definition. So as per this calculation, here we just need to place limit where initial position is RA. But here for this particular case, initial position is infinity, final position is RA, right? And we need to identify potential at this point because of charge capital Q. So here you can observe initial position is infinity, final position is RA. Just do integration where electric field due to charge Q that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R square. Just do integration here. Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 is constant. Take it outside. 1 by R square integration is minus 1 by R. Right. And if you place the limit, then see minus minus is getting plus. 1 by RA minus 1 by infinity, 1 by infinity is 0. So you can say VA is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by RA. So potential at given position due to charge Q over here is 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 Q by RA. So there are a few basics that you need to understand regarding potential, right? Potential is scalar quantity. It is not having direction. Potential is not having direction. It is scalar quantity. That is very essential that you need to know. Now, what I'll do is I'll explain you essential key points regarding potential. See, first key point regarding VAB, that is VAB is negative if work done happens by electric field and VAB that is positive if work done is done by external force. So usually when you calculate work done because of potential difference, then based on potential difference, you can identify that. Like see, previously we were been defining work done, right? Work done is amount of displacement because of force means force dot DL that is work done. And in work done, I told you that if you have work done because of electric field at the time, it is positive. But if you want to identify whether work done is done by electric field or external agent, then opposite will be there. See. Based on potential difference, you can say what is work done. 
If potential difference is negative, you can say work done is done by electric field, right? And if potential difference is positive, then you can say work done happens by external force. So as and when you have question in competitive examination, at the time you might get confused based on this. But always understand, see when you calculate work done by electric field, at the time you will be calculating that as per basic calculation, you will be finding that is positive, right? So by external force, you can say work done was negative. But if you want that in terms of potential difference, then as if potential difference is negative, then you can say work done is done by electric field, right? The reason is work done and potential difference, both are having reverse polarity as per the definition, which I have already earlier told you, right? Now, see one more essential point that you need to note down. Potential difference is independent on path. Like you see, initial position was this, final position was this. So when you calculate potential difference, then it is independent on a path. Means even if you have any path over here, any path, then also potential difference will remain same. It does not depends on path, right? See one more essential point that one should know: unit of potential is voltage or joule per coulomb. Unit of potential is voltage or joule per coulomb and last essential point that is calculation see vab that is vb minus va always remember i have seen students are doing mistake vab va minus vb they write like this it is false vab is vb minus va and you see minus integration of adl where limit is there from a to b why this minus sign is there? The reason is with work done and potential difference, there is negative relation, right? That's why I told you based on VAB, if it is negative, then you can say work done is done by electric field. If it is positive, then work done is done by external force. The reason is voltage and work done is having negative relation, right? And what is VB? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by RB. And what is VA? 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by RA. So these are the key essential points which is there regarding potential. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that I would like to share, just note it down in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.